Artificial general intelligence represents generalized human cognitive abilities in software so that, faced with an unfamiliar task, the AGI system can find a solution. An AGI system intends to perform any task that a human being is capable of. In the 1950s, researchers including AI pioneer Herbert A. Simon was convinced that AGI would exist within the next few decades. Since then, AGI has proved to be a daunting, perhaps even impossible to achieve milestone. Welcome to another episode of AI and Robots. Today, we'll be talking about the Canadian robotics startup company Sanctuary AI, which has revealed they're creating the smartest human robot AI ever. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Sit back and enjoy. Predicting that AGI won't arrive until the year 2300, Rodney Brooks, an MIT roboticist and co-founder of iRobot, doesn't mince words. It is a fraught time understanding the true promise of dangers of AI. Most of what we read in the headlines is, I believe, completely off the mark. Brooks is far from being a lone voice of dissent. Leading AI researchers such as Jeffrey Hinton and Demis Hassabis have stated that AGI is nowhere close to reality. In responding to one of Brooks' posts, Yan LeCun, a professor at the Courant Institute of Mathematical Sciences at New York University, is much more direct. It's hard to explain to non-specialists that AGI is not a thing, and that most venues that have AGI in their name deal in highly speculative and theoretical issues. Still, many academics and researchers maintain that there is at least a chance that human-level artificial intelligence could be achieved in the next decade. Richard Sutton, professor of computer science at the University of Alberta, stated in a 2017 talk, Understanding human-level AI will be a profound scientific achievement and economic boon, and may well happen by 2030, or by 2040, or never. Sanctuary AI is an artificial general intelligence company founded in January 2018 and is based in Vancouver, British Columbia. Sanctuary's mission is to build synthetic humans that are indistinguishable from us physically, cognitively, and emotionally. The company is structured to explore both cutting-edge technology and the ethical issues that arise from creating human-like machines. Sanctuary began with the primary aim of creating the world's first general-purpose robots with human-like intelligence to help people work more securely, efficiently, and sustainably. In addition, the corporation intends to use its technologies to explore, settle, and prosper in space as well. It wants to focus on making the workplace safer and more efficient by creating robots that can do various jobs while collaborating with humans. Sanctuary is nothing if not ambitious. The company is aiming to develop breakthroughs in areas such as artificial intelligence, cognition, robotics, theoretical physics, and quantum computing, then combine these to create human-like robots that will be able to take on almost any task. To that end, it is trying to build extremely functional robots that can be directly piloted by people, operated using pilot assist technologies, or work entirely on their initiative to observe, assess, and act on tasks with supervision from a human operator. Sanctuary said its systems will be able to perform many different tasks in dangerous situations that are normally performed by humans, solving the challenge of workplace safety. In addition, it believes its robots will be able to eliminate labor shortages in many industries by filling gaps in the workforce with human-like intelligence. Sanctuary co-founder and chief executive Jordy Rose told Silicon Angle that unfilled vacancies, workplace safety considerations, increased employee turnover, worldwide aging populations, and declining workplace participation make it clear that many labor-related challenges are outside the scope of current specialized AI and robotics. That's the gap Sanctuary believes its robots can fill. The advent of a general purpose, human-like technology like ours will fundamentally change the nature of our relationship to technology and our connection to the world around us, Rose said. It will immensely broaden our understanding of what we are and potentially help us answer some of the questions that have been around for eons about the nature of our role in the universe. Rose said Sanctuary is focused on building people-sized robots because the world we live in is designed for humans. 
To that end, its AI is based on an entirely new cognitive architecture that tries to mimic subsystems found in the human brain, such as memory, sight, sound, and touch, he said. This architecture leverages both symbolic and neural reasoning, taking the best of both approaches to AI while mitigating the weaknesses of each. It's the most pragmatic architecture, Rose believes, because it enables robots to define the scope of work that must be performed by breaking it down into manageable and achievable pieces, just as humans do. When we think about finding a cure for cancer, addressing climate change, or colonizing other planets, we take it for granted that people will be needed to do all the thinking and reasoning to come up with novel solutions and then execute them, Rose said. But what if you could build a machine that thought, reasoned, and interacted with the world just like a person? What if you were not limited to having access to just one human-like mind? Just think how much more quickly we could arrive at the solution. Rose declined to say how far along Sanctuary's robots have come in their development, but he said one near-term goal is to develop robots that can perform tasks considered too dangerous for people, such as clearing minefields in conflict zones or sterilizing hospital rooms. Robots that can adapt their behavior to circumstances and learn from instruction are an enormous goal, but one that many are experimenting with bringing to life. Amazon, in particular, has been keen to explore the potential of Alexa. That's where features like Teachable AI, which lets users directly instruct Alexa about their preferences and latent goal inference for extrapolating customer desires come from. And it's the explicit goal of the SimBot Alexa Prize. Sanctuary also announced that the world's first female private space explorer, Anusha Ansari, and former astronaut and International Space Station Commander Chris Hadfield have joined the Sanctuary Advisory Board. Although Sanctuary's immediate ambitions are focused on creating robots to assist humans here on Earth, it ultimately sees its technology playing a vital role in space exploration. The company recently closed a $58.5 million Series A funding and plans to use the funds for advancing its technology and taking the robots even to space. All-purpose robots with human-like intelligence may become more vital in the future, and Sanctuary AI claims to be the quickest and most effective means to get there. According to the AI company, the investors that participated in its most recent investment round reflect applications for Sanctuary's technology in multiple industries. Sanctuary also said in its blog post that it originally approached the organizations as potential customers. I see this as an indication that they believe in the strategic power of the technology that we're building and want to play an active role in advancing the use of AI and robotics across a wide range of industry applications, Sanctuary said. According to Crunchbase, Sanctuary has raised two previous undisclosed seed rounds with Evoke participating in a 2020 round. BetaKit has reached out to Sanctuary to confirm its total funding to date. While Sanctuary's founders bring expertise and it has secured the backing of notable investors, some experts in the AI space have questioned the technology and characterized the startup's vision as far-fetched. The difficulties of humanoid robots have stymied many companies already. SoftBank semi-retired the humanate robot named Pepper recently partly for that reason. Elon Musk's plans for a humanoid Tesla bot, one he wants to see prototyped before the end of the summer, faces the same issues. Sanctuary's AI will need to overcome those obstacles to truly become a part of any workforce. That's all for today. Do you think Sanctuary has a chance of succeeding in its venture into AGI? You can leave your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You can click on the notification button so you can get updates on future content. Until next time, have a great day.